Could it be they canceled the idol? How is it possible? I don't know. I need more cringe. I need the cringe. That's right. I am the man you may know as he, the most qualified person on the internet to talk to you about the idol because I've watched every second of it and I've analyzed every second of it to my chagrin. And I am here to talk about the idol being canceled already. What? How is it even possible? It's supposed to be the most watched show on HBO ever. We're going to break a little bit of it down. We're going to talk about it. And shockingly, I may agree with some of the points of the creators. I don't know. I'm a little confused. First, let's talk about the worst sex scene ever in history, according to GQ and Twitter. Oh my, there's a lot of backlash. It's supposed to gross out viewers. I reviewed it in my previous installments of The Idol. I've been reviewing this thing. Every episode breakdown, giving you my horrendous take as I try to keep my lunch. That is a thing. So let's talk about it. Um, the... <laughs> The last scene between Jocelyn, Lily Rose Depp, let me reiterate, Johnny Depp's daughter and Abel, the weekend test fay, is so cringy, it should be PSA for abstinence. GQ dubbed it the worst sex scene in history. <laughs> it's so gross. <sighs> <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, GQ describes it as all the energy and sexual enticement of Gollum scurrying for a fish and leaving the heavy lifting to its lead starlet who bears all the brunt of trying to titillate the audience while telling us that women like to be exploited, actually. Actually, apparently she does. Remember, folks, she's on file now. She, she made a quote where she said she didn't feel when, when the weekend was method acting he was on Ooh, it was a little tough to approach him um sweetie when you are ass up uh to the weekend and he's telling you to spread your cheeks think i would avoid that too i'm just saying as a normal human being he's the co-creator of this now what he's saying in response is that he is that he's supposed to be a scumbag. You're supposed to feel like this is a good thing. Like you, all the it's campy. You're supposed to feel all these things. It is just, I just think it's embarrassing. Like it's one thing to watch, cause, cause he compares it to um, fatal Attra fatal attraction. No, basic instinct. He's co he compares it to basic instinct. First of all, in basic instinct. The woman, and this is a movie made 30 years ago by Verhoeven, the same guy who I think did he do Robocop and did he do Starship Troopers? I believe so. I could be wrong. Tell me in the comments below. You have Verhoeven, the director, who made Basic Instinct, which there's a lot of contention around how that was filmed and, and what was consent and all, all these other things. But there's one thing that is undeniable if you watch Basic Instinct is that Sharon Stone has all of the control in the entire movie. There is no point where you think that Sharon Stone does not control the narrative of what's going on in that movie. Um, she, she brings in a great acting performance against Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas just, he's like supposed to be this alpha dude who's in control and she plays him for every second. In this, with Lily Rose Depp, she seems like a, like, well, I don't know what they're trying to portray her as, but it's not in control. It's not. It, it's a, it's a, it ain't, it ain't that. But let's, we know it's cringe. We know, it, and we watch because it is, so whatever. But let's talk about the cancellation uproar. There's a big hullabaloo about the cancellation, uh, that it won't see a season two. And the reason for that is, and they're already throwing out spin. They're saying like it's being misreported that the decision on season two of the idol has been determined. It has not. And we look forward to the next episode with you Sunday night. There's only six episodes. We're going to be halfway through. This is not Netflix though. This is HBO, HBO courts controversy. 
and they don't have the same um, metrics that Netflix is looking for. Apparently, it drew on the premiere. It drew in nine hundred thirteen thousand total viewers. The second week, there was a big, pretty big dip to eight hundred thousand. Now, they're saying with delayed viewing, the premiere has already surpassed the first episodes of The White Lotus and Euphoria at the same point in time. First of all, I don't know how much those cost in comparison. You know, you have uh, Sam Levison now uh, wasn't a big director before. Now this is another series. You're going to pay him bucks for it. You're going to pay The weekend. You're going to pay him bucks for it. You, you at first you were paying Zendaya and a bunch of no name actors like that's uh, the Sweeney girl doesn't make ask any money now, and uh, White Lotus who was in that nobody there's nobody you're paying in that. They're saying we're only two episodes in we don't know we we don't know that we're canceling it. Um, there's just a lot of negative press on this show. It started with negative press and were they using that as spin to get more people to watch it? Really hard to say. I will say that on some level, I agree with The weekend on like, you're supposed to hate. To, he knows the character he's playing. He knows that he he said even down to the haircut, everything about him is supposed to exude that he's a creep. And we don't know where the show goes. Maybe there's a redemptive arc for Jocelyn, Lily Rose Depp. And maybe at first I was like, is this a snuff film? And she's just going to get you know, killed on camera. Like what is, I, I don't even, I don't know where it's going. I'm sure she joins this weird freaky deaky cult, but does she escape? Like, I, I I don't know. I don't even know that I care, but we're going to watch it together. We, we're in this to win this because you told me I need to watch this. And I, I guess I have to, despite all of my objections, because I don't like to see that many people sweaty. Like, I just don't. It doesn't turn me on. It doesn't titillate me. But, uh... Yeah, apparently the, the the bad press, Rolling Stone says there's turmoil behind the scenes. They fired the original director, and they're saying that Sam Levinson is creating sexual torture prawns. Like I don't know, it's getting a series, a stinging D grade. Like it's getting killed. The ratings are dropping. Nobody seems to like this. I'm watching it because it's crazy and cringy, and it's kind of fun for us to go through this together. It's torturous, but we're going through it together. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it should get extended? Where does it even go? Do I need to see more of The weekend ever? Do I need to see him act? Do I think he's a good actor? Yeah, I don't think so. Lily Rose Depp, I'm not real impressed by her either. Like She's not like captivating me. Jenny... From Pink, Black Pink, maybe. Show us more of her. I already complained in my previous review that they gave her 16 seconds of screen time. I, I need better actors on this, and maybe I would care a little bit, but what I'm getting right, you know, I, I'm pretty sure, what is, she's a Nepo baby, Lily Rose Depp, and she was in Yoga Hosers from Kevin Smith, so that seems like that sucked. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I, I, I'm I'm confused. I, I kind of enjoy reviewing. I don't often hear the words out of someone's mouth like, I want you to choke on it. <laughs> like, come on, people. This is what we're getting. So let me know. All right, let's get a discussion going. Anyway, we also have a full-length audio podcast. It is on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes. iTunes for free to you. For free. Subscribe now. Help us out. We could use the help all the help we can get. We're growing it. We're getting bigger. We appreciate it. We love the fact that you actually watch this far. Like, subscribe. You know the thing. You know the thing. You got to do it. And join us if you want for a live stream. We do that Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a lot of fun. A lot of party. Bring your drinks. Get your purple drink on. We love it. We love you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. But I'm on to the next one.